So, three years ago, we did the Amazon Prime documentary, which was Jack McGann from Cage to Ring. And if you remember just after we just after the documentary was released and I phoned you with an idea to do mini episodes for Amazon Prime, and we were gonna basically just follow me around as I went to activate for the different brands that we were working for. Over sort of a three year period, you and I have been to Miami, I think about 10 times, Vegas about 10 times, we've done Tokyo, been to Rome, Montreal we've been to twice I've basically been all over the world and luckily over that period of time and the period of time that I've been working in my consultancy and the gyms obviously we've built very good relationships with a lot of the top talent in MMA but particularly in, in the UFC you pitched the idea to Amazon Prime they liked it we put a schedule together and then the nasty word hit that took over the planet which was <laughs> the pandemic which, which stopped everything yeah. so if we now fast forward a couple of years later, we're not out of the pandemic yet, but we're coming to the point where we can start to have a bit of normality back. We have now been authorised to go to Montreal to go and spend four days with Georges St. Pierre. So it's the perfect time to pick up the idea that we had, but this time we're not doing it with Amazon Prime. This time we're setting up our own YouTube channel and the plan is to go and capture as much authentic content as we can with each athlete that we go to visit every month. From Mars. You, you want captured the behind the scenes yeah, we do. yeah so the next couple of weeks are, are quite a busy few weeks montreal with gsp we've got aj in london for a, for the weekend weekend yeah and then we've got gsp in chester we've got a busy spell coming up mate <laughs> and all of this is reliant on me passing the COVID test that i took yesterday yeah. nathan's had his test back i'm still waiting for mine so at the minute it might just be nathan going <laughs> on his own <laughs> Which would be interesting. Okay. Not getting the ball. So for us, this is us stepping the game up yeah. and you know doing something different. We, we are about putting something different on in Chester, and no one's ever done anything like this, have we? Yeah, see you later. Yeah. yeah. See. Take care. Thank you. See you later. Result: SARS CoV2 RNA not detected. So that means I'm coming to Montreal with your knife. Yeah. I'll pick you up at quarter past four in the morning, but yeah, I'm getting picked up at four o'clock. I'll be with you at quarter past four. Don't stay out late drinking, because you've got to be up early. Right, see you in a bit. Got to Manchester airport. That's a big camera. Flew down to Heathrow. A couple of hours before we depart from Montreal, we've got Dustin Poirier's agent. He's picking us up from the airport. Go have something to eat and then try and go to bed early. Ready to get up tomorrow morning for Mr. St. Pierre to pick us up. Thank you. Nathan, Nathan and Ben. Nice. It's, been, it's been a long day. I've been up since 3 a.m. The weather's much better here, mate, it's, than it is in yeah, the UK today. It's, it's nice, you got lucky coming in. So which up. fighters have you got on your on, on, under your agency at the minute outside of Dustin? Raquel Pennington, Tisha Torres, and Tatiana Suarez. I signed Tatiana right after her, her last fight with Nina Asaroff. She got hurt, so she hasn't fought in quite like two and a half years. That's the thing with a fighter, isn't it? To get a bad injury. She's like the best women's fighter. Obviously, Dustin's got his own hot sauce. I have these two vegan burgers that I grill and I put the hot sauce on the food. Every, I had the same meal every day for my dinner. Uh, I think he's picking us up, mate. It's a big help. Here we go. Are you okay? Welcome to the I'd like to pretend that I knew what it was. Wow. If you can handle heat. The main street. Here, I'm tired. 
I'm getting old as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, buddy. Salad de Chibrixelle. Oh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, exactly. Merci. Sure. Hard to, uh... Back to the hotel shower. Cartoon nice. channel on. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. You can tell that we're British. Because <laughs> I've got a vest top and flip flops on. <laughs> There we go. Morning George, hope you're well mate. I will meet you at the outside the hotel the front entrance at 9 o'clock. Let me know if there's anything specific you need from me or if you want to grab anything to eat this morning. Look forward to seeing you in a bit buddy. Yes sir guys. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Good, good. Okay. Yeah man, what's up? Well, How are you? You're looking yes. good. Just an interesting character isn't he? It's an interesting individual. People only see that fight bit because you're not not many people are lucky enough to be able to spend time with the yeah. person and after watching him for years and years you know you think yeah. that they're not human almost but he's just funny witty intelligent guy yeah I got bad thoughts that make my mind scared Hold me hostage and they don't fight fair Who gon' pray for me and wipe on my tears? Who gon' save me if you not right here? Move this darkness and make my sight clear Take me your way cause I don't like here Ghost of my past, they fill in the night air Wake me up, I'm trapped in my nightmares We're in Jatoba, which is an Asian inspired fusion restaurant. Probably one of the best cities that I've visited for, for cuisine. I'm not a very good food critic, but the crispy, yeah. lightly fried sprouts in an Asian seasoning wasn't what I was expecting. Beautiful, fresh, crispy seafood spring roll. Tofu is really crispy on the outside, light, fluffy on the inside. You have a certain rhythm to boxing and you have a certain rhythm to MMA. The rhythm for boxing is different than the rhythm for MMA. So the pace, the fight style, the intensity in MMA. Dustin Poirier yeah. can box. Max Holloway can box. Conor McGregor can box. You know, we proved that against Mayweather. As a fighting style, if you can get close in to somebody, you can take the striking away. And if you're able to take someone to the ground, you can nullify the whole striking game. So the world-class wrestlers, they tend to be the dangerous guys. If Jake Paul's gonna fight an MMA guy, it needs to be a Poirier, a Holloway, even a McGregor, strangely enough. Even though McGregor's suffering at the minute, still would be a very different fight. A couple of more fights than maybe a Poirier or a McGregor when it's a $50 million fight. And then if he gets beat, he he wins anyway. Oh, for sure. He's come in, changed the game, made a lot of money. I like what they're doing. Me too. I like what they're doing for. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, they're, bringing a they're bringing a new audience. The younger audience, because boxing's been struggling. MMA will never struggle. MMA's on the up. But boxing's been on the down for a while. So tomorrow, we've got people coming to do COVID tests at the hotel to make sure that we can get back on the flight on Thursday. Thank you. Tickly. The last day of filming with George. We're gonna meet him here, do maybe an hour of filming with him, and then we're gonna go for something to eat. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I just said you're looking sweaty, topless, no, no, just get out of the shower. and very sexy. No, no. <laughs> That's how you keep the membership up. How are you, mate? You get out of the shower. Good. How are you? Good, good to see you. How you doing? How are the family? Good, you? You're good. Very good, you? Yeah. How you been, man? Good to see you. You're in shape, man. Well, I don't know, Look mate. Look at this guy. I don't, I don't this know. Guy put him in the cage now. I'm looking grey. The eye bags have got worse and the love oh, handles great, have got man. a bit bigger. Chilling? Just chilling. Now we're reopened to the public. It's been about uh, three months, so things have been getting busy again. People are really excited to train. So that's good news. But uh, other than that, uh, it's been tough in the last year and a half, two years. I can't say it. Every time, 
good. When you watch him train though, I mean he's a very, very technical athlete. Very balanced, very polite, very reserved. So I mean if you watch him now, yeah you can see for us is obviously talking and teaching a technique. And George is in the middle of the class, still hungry for knowledge. And that's just someone that's just obsessed about combat sports. You know, I don't think you'll ever get him out of the gym. It's always interesting when you watch people train with somebody who's an elite level fighter like the GSP. There's one of two things they're going to do. They either start fast and aggressively out of nervousness or they become quite submissive out of nervousness. Both things are just as bad as each other. Difficult to keep yourself balanced when you're training with somebody that you know is the best in the world because your nervous energy you can't, you don't quite know which way it's going to go. I think you were there the first time I sparred with him. You just kept taking me down. Let me get up, take me down, not let me get up for a minute. Completely wear me out. Yeah, yeah, see you again, you man. Birmingham. Thanks so much, Josh. Thank you very much for everything. It's been a great five days in Montreal. I had a good time with George and his team. It's nice to give people a bit of a, uh, a sneak peek into what we do, but it's also nice to give people the access and the behind the scenes footage that we capture. We get to spend real quality time with the athletes we're with and the coaches, the UFC, the management companies, and it's nice for people to be able to see that bit. You know, the sport is littered with fight content and training content, and whilst that's engaging to watch as an MMA fan, I'm more excited and more interested in the the individual and being able to eat with them, walk with them, a bit of sightseeing, get to know the real the real person. And that's the type of content access that this new YouTube channel that we're starting should really be able to demonstrate to people. So we've got a busy time coming up and hopefully we'll have some great episodes coming up as long as Nathan creates some magic for us.